What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol MSFT from Microsoft Corp. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. You dirty dog, you did me dirty here by gapping up instead of remaining on the gap down, which we were harping on in last night's video. Uh, it is what it is. Obviously, you have to adjust to whatever the market is presenting you, uh, you know, when the bell is about to ring. So hopefully, you guys were able to be nimble and use the same sort of ideas to think about Microsoft's gap up, right? It was nothing more than a gap and trap. I'm just cleaning up the clean drawing set here. I'll quickly zoom in just to illustrate how it all unfolded. I mean, obviously we opened on the gap up, which is up here, and we were unable to take out the overnight high and we faded lower basically all day to close the gap. So it works in either direction and that's a great example of it right here. Let's go ahead and turn on our default drawing set though, get those critical levels back up on the chart. We're gonna remove some of this uh, nonsense here that wasn't so meaningful. And then let me just pop this back to auto so we can kind of get a sense for where we're at. So the first thing I would point out is, that, I, mean, I mean, yeah, we did fade off. However, we still have a higher daily low and a higher high. Now, granted, we didn't spend basically any time up towards that high, but it's there, it is in place. So from the daily perspective, we have a really choppy chart to be looking at, quite frankly. I mean, think about this, on Monday we were at 275, on today's open, we're at 310. I mean, just a massive range here with nothing but volatility and really, in my estimation, a lack of direction. Earnings, obviously, a big piece of that. What are we gonna do about it going forward, though? Well, from the daily, the fact that we're starting to support here at the uh, 293.50, also daily 200 SMA, it's the highs of the Tuesday session, maybe that's promising for a higher low, a more solid higher low, instead of just you know breaking back down and immediately making the retracement towards 275 Monday's low. So let's take a closer look at the 30 minute time frame just to see how today's action unfolded. And what I like about it, and the fact that you know this area is so important here, is the fact that we have multiple lower wicks on the 30 minute hammer candles here into the close that would indicate that yeah, buyers are stepping up at that very nuanced level. Again, not only is it the daily 200, it's just this sort of breakout point from the Monday and Tuesday session. So if this holds, as long as it holds, then fine. The next major area to look for the retracement to would be 303.35. And if we can get to that area, we know that we need to close a daily, or excuse me, a 30 minute candle above, uh, above wow, at a loss for words today, uh, to get back to 311. And we know that that's the important area because that's really where the upper wick stacked on the daily and the flush came from. So from a trend perspective, I like the fact that you can start to do something like this and we have a support trend line. Higher lows are in effect. We also have higher highs. So from the 30 minute, as long as these hammer candles hold and they resolve to the upside, I would start watching for breakouts of 303.35 to again get us to 311. If this starts to break down, that's obviously where the chart deteriorates and we would look for an equal low. You know, firstly, I would just say something in here around the 282, noting that we had candle structure in here. And then if it really, you know, picks up and the selling intensifies, fine, Monday's low is on the table, 275. But I, I just think it would be, it would be very and maybe this is out of turn here, but it would be very rare. It, it just wouldn't seem likely that you make a 100% retracement after you've already made the move for something like this. I mean, the volatility, sure, it is insane right now, but it would have to be mega insane to go you know, all the way back down here after what's already unfolded. So those are my rough thoughts inside of Microsoft, the levels I'll be paying attention to, sort of the patterns that are unfolding. If you enjoyed the video today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.